your thoughts about the game, how it ended? Uh, I thought the Nets battled the whole way. We had them on the ropes several times. Uh, I think we were up 19 late in the third, and they made a, a big three-pointer um, right near the end of the third, and then two more quick ones to start the fourth. Got right back in the game, and that was really the story. Um, you know, we were able to hold them off, but they made 20 three-pointers. And, Stayed in the game with the three. Steve, seven games was kind of a benchmark for you guys last year. I think you were four and three. It just lost your Pistons, and, and you were kind of talking about how much fried, how fried your team looked. How would you kind of contrast this season, six and one, nice little start to it? Oh, much better start. You know, much more um, competitive, uh, smooth. Chemistry is good. I think, um, you know, we had a better training camp, and I think everybody is really rounding into shape now at this point. Um, they've gotten over the hump conditioning-wise, so you know, we can st- extend our starters out and play a few extra minutes without losing anything. And, and our bench is starting to round into form. I love what uh, Jonas did tonight. And, uh, I thought Zoe was uh, really good as well. We can always trust Looney. And, uh, you know, we're, uh, we're playing a lot of people and I'm really proud of everybody for being ready to play. I don't know. I, I think um, this is year three for them together, and um, you know the continuity of being together now for a while, um, winning back-to-back titles together. Uh, I think there's a probably a better comfort zone, comfort area between the two of them than there's ever been. Coach, how would you evaluate Karis LeVert? He really <laughs> came on hot at the end of that game. Yeah, Karis LeVert's tough. I mean, he's a slasher, ball handler. He can get into the paint. He's he's big, so um, you know he can finish in the paint. And they got a lot of good young players here. Coach, what do you think about Jarebko and what he brings to the team? Jarebko was great tonight. Um, he's really had a good start to the season. He's tough, rebounds well. Uh, he sets good screens. His ability to step out and uh, make a three-point shot is important as well. So it's been a really good addition. Are you shocked what McKinney's given you? Uh, surprised, yeah. I mean, I, we knew he, he was athletic uh, from the first day of training camp, but he's come a long way offensively pretty quickly, and uh, it's a testament to him for sure. I mean, he's put in a lot of work. Um, also, I you know I think it's worth mentioning Chris DeMarco and uh, our coaching staff that the player development, I mean, those guys are getting out there an hour before the – the regulars every day and working on everything, working on the shooting and ball handling and going through the offense. So I think Alfonso has gotten more and more comfortable and uh, he's giving us really, really big minutes. Steve, the play wasn't necessarily getting this three goal in. What did he notice about what it enabled them to find the mid range and get some shots in the road? Nothing that's any different from you know what he's been doing for years. He just he moves beautifully without the ball and he has the ability, you know, at his size to Take a dribble um, and just rise up over defenders and, and get a you know, 16, 18 foot jump shot. There seems, to, there seems to be more joy around the team at the beginning of this season than at the beginning of last season as well. That's something that you used to emphasize quite a bit about this team. Is that what you're? Uh, you know, that's uh, we should have a lot of joy. We, we've got a lot of a lot of things going for us. So uh, our players are definitely in a good place, and uh, we're uh, I think we're playing. Uh, Pretty well. We can play better, but uh, I like the direction we're heading. We, f- we feel like um, we're getting better as we go, and our bench is starting to solidify, and uh, we're starting to see combinations and patterns that work. So I like where our team is right now. Does it become even more important because of so many years together and the grind going to the finals every year? And uh, like- you know, it's just when we've been doing this for a long time, but we're still playing basketball for a living, so it's pretty fun. Do you feel like teams are really gunning for you this season? Every night, every night, teams uh, circle us on the calendar. It's very flattering, but it's uh, it, it's t- it's difficult too. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, I thought the Nets played played great tonight. I thought the Knicks mm-hmm. played great the other night. Mm-hmm. Um, teams are going to play at a high level against us, so we have to be ready. Mm-hmm. Thank you very much. Thank you.